Developing now, while we've been lucky to not have any wildfires so far this summer, doesn't mean they can't still pop up. Meteorologist Justin McKeffey live in Evergreen tonight with the Mobile Weather Lab. And Justin, homeowners, of course, need to be prepared. Karen, today Project Wildfire was launched by the Colorado Association of Realtors. And here in Evergreen, a wildfire mitigation demonstration was held to show property owners the best way to protect their homes. The Evergreen Fire Department and other safety organizations teamed up to provide education and awareness to reduce the destruction of homes in the forest. Now, an estimated 2 million people live along Colorado's wildland urban interface. So in the foothills west of Denver, west of Boulder, west of Fort Collins, and all of these neighborhoods are located within the pine trees that become very flammable after we have a dry summer. But the Evergreen Fire Chief says that despite all of the moisture this summer, now is the time to prepare. We tell our public it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when the wildfire is going to strike. Um, we've, with beautiful summers like this, it's easy to set aside all that work and pull out the lawn chair and not think about doing mitigation. But the reality is this is when the hardest work should be being done. This summer, we've had pretty frequent rainfall, especially May and June, even the early part of July. We had some pretty substantial rains across the Front Range, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should put the work aside and not protect your home with a little bit of defensible space. So it's a good summer, that's for sure, Ed, thanks to the rain. But over the next couple of days, looks like things are drying out a little bit. Drying out and stabilizing a lot less.